So we're going to talk about percussion instruments, and <clears throat> percussion instruments really can be made out of anything, and we're going to talk about that later. Percussion instruments are played in one of three ways. They can be hit, they can be shaken, or they can be scraped. Okay? Leave yourself muted. Say those with me. Hit, shaken, scraped. All right, so... Um, one of the instruments that I uh, introduced to you, egg shaker. This is one that is shaken. This is a shaken instrument, and it is a member of the percussion family. Remember, it sounds like this. Another instrument that I introduced to you was the djembe, and that's my drum from Africa. This is an example of an instrument, a percussion instrument that is hit. Okay. So, hit. That's an example of an instrument, percussion instrument that is hit. All right, so we've had shaken, we've had hit, now we need scrape. This is a cymbal. This is just the end of a microphone cord. Listen to this. Right, that's pretty cool. I like that sound. I'm going to do that again. Okay. So, hit, shaken, scraped. Almost anything can be a percussion instrument. Right? And um, Quaver's going to tell us a little bit more about that in this next video. Thank you. The percussion family. One, two, three, four. Guys, that sounded brilliant. What was it? We're just banging out this assignment that you gave us. You told us from everything about the drums. I think it sounded pretty good. I thought we sounded great. Yeah, Quave. I think we had a pretty good rhythm going on. And Kelsey, you play a mean drum box. Thanks, Jacob. I've never played a box before. I actually thought all drums were round. Every drum box kind of sounds differently depending on what wood it's made with and how it's put together. This one has a rich, deep sound. Now, Colson, tell me about your drum. This is a medium-sized conga drum. There's four sizes. It's basically a one barrel with animal skin covering it. Originally, the skin could come from any animal that lives in the land. A yak, goat, camel, whatever. Yak? Really a yak? Maybe not a yak. OK. Colson, that was amazing. Have you swallowed a drum encyclopedia? <laughs> See, guys, I told you he didn't say play the drums. He said to learn everything we can about percussion. Yeah, percussion doesn't involve just drums. It involves anything that you either hit, shake, or scrape. Boom, chicka, boom. Hit, shake, or scrape. Really cool. Now, you might recall also that percussion carries the beat and the rhythm, and all the other instruments play on top of that. So let's try it again. Colson, this time, you take the main beat. Here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Exactly what beat were you keeping? 
Sorry, there was this fly. Yeah, 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 but listen, if the beat wavers and is unsteady, everything else falls apart. Listen, let's have another go. This time, watch out for beat stealing insects. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm off to the phone box, quick! Percussion means much more than drums. If you go to a football game, you might notice a whole section of percussion players that are totally separate from the drum section. Let's have a look at some percussion instruments now. Right, what's this called? It's called a vibraphone. Right, let's hear it. See, some percussion instruments are actually tuned and you can play melodies on them. Now, what's this? This is a marimba. Okay, let's hear it. Slightly different sound from the vibraphone because its bars are made of wood. Now, look at this enormous drum. Hit it! Louder! Louder! Cool! Now, this is called a xylophone. Right, let's hear the xylophone. This has got a bit more of a sharp sound than the marimba or the vibraphone. And last but not least, what are these? Wait, this is the coolest instrument of all. It's a child. Oh. When you push the pedal down. Wow, it sounds like my doorbell at home. That's excellent. So, percussion instruments are in a marching band and on a football field, but not only that, you can see them in the symphony orchestra as well. Quick! They're usually right back here, spread along the back of the orchestra because they're so loud. And they usually include these kind of kettle-shaped drums called... Timpani. Timpani. Let's hear them. Now, not only are there timpani drums, but there's loads of other different percussion as well. Let's take a look. Now, some of these percussion instruments in the orchestra are similar to what we saw on the football field, but they're used in a different way. Colton, Lara, hit it. Wow, that was great. Now, this is something that you generally just find in an orchestra. What is it? It's a gong. A gong. Right. Laura, hit it. Thank you. So, percussion instruments add drama and delicacy to music in the orchestra. Now, the things we've heard add drama, but this adds kind of delicacy and humour. Play it for us. Now, you can't play it with your fingers. You have to use those mallets, and you have to space them out to play the notes you want. Look at that. That's what you call skill. Laura, thanks. Welcome to the deciding match in the World Orchestra Section Moving Championship. The game is finely poised. Logoshov one, Berbatov one. And it's Logoshov to move. Violins and violas to front, centre and left. Good move. <laughs> Berbatov hand shaking with nerves. Plays a double move. Woodwinds to centre and cellos and basses to front right. Logoshov plays brass to the back. Hang on. I'm hearing that that is a wrong placement. It's a forced move. Logoshov is <laughs> weeping into his hanky. <laughs> Incorrect, comrade. Brush goes there and percussion goes right here at the back. I wishki. I am the champion. There's so much more to percussion than pitched instruments and drums. There's hundreds and thousands of percussion instruments, and because of that, they're sometimes used for sound effects in music and movies and wherever. Percussion adds atmosphere. So, now we're gonna make a movie? Wait, wait, I wanna be the big star. You know, like an action hero. Bigger than life. I'm pretty sure there's already a star in this movie. We're just gonna create the effects with different percussive instruments. What we really need is some more percussion. Dun, dun, dun! 
Look at the percussion in that enormous drum! Right, can you remember the three ways that percussion is played? Hit, shaken, and scraped. Cool! Now, watch this video of me as a wee laddie as I cook dinner to surprise my parents. It's pretty dry, Quave. Yeah, but we can add atmosphere by adding percussion. There's so many different timbres of percussion that we can make our clips so much better by adding sound effects. Julian, because he plays the drums, is going to play the instruments that are hit, Jason's going to play the ones that are shaken, and Sean will play the ones that are scraped. Watch this. That completely changed the way that clip felt. Yeah, total new atmosphere by adding percussion. Thanks for the demonstration, Quaid. Guys, I couldn't have done it without you. Now, I'm off to the shop. No, wait. Now go. OK. Famous percussion in classical music, the 1812 Overture by Tchaikovsky. <laughs> <laughs> Famous percussion in classical music, the 1812 Overture by Tchaikovsky. <laughs> really? <sighs> Famous percussion in classical music, the 1812 Overture by Tchaikovsky. today because I'm joined by my friend Sam Bacco and he's a brilliant percussion player. Now not only does percussion add the rhythm and the beat but also it can add imitative sounds, the sounds that sound like things in real life. Sam hit it. All right here's the sound of marching men. Cool. Cool. Sound off. Here's the sound of a bottle cork. Like it. Cork in the <laughs> bottle. Woohoo! How about a choo-choo train? Yes do it. Good, another one. How about... Mm, ouch. Good. Now, these ones... Now, if you've ever watched, like, a horror film and you've wondered how they make the sounds on a horror film, listen to this one. Uh. Ah! Another one, Sam. What's this for? Yeah, whatever. And this one. <laughs> See the way he shakes it around and it kind of spreads the sound and makes it... Whoa! That's cool. Another one, Sam. How about a lion? Right, this is the last one. Listen to this. Yes, I didn't have any lunch this morning. Now! <laughs> joining Sam on this fantastic stage, give it up for Yakskin and Mr. Yeah. Sam Backer! <laughs> How many different kinds of sounds that Sam produces. He uses lots of different parts of his hand, the side, the thumb, that bit, the heel of his hand, to produce different sounds on his percussion instruments. It's amazing. Just from hit, shaken, or straight, we can produce all these different sounds in the world of music. Sam! Woo! Percussion, percussion. Hit, 
shake and a scrape. Percussion, percussion. Hit, shake and a scrape. Quaver, you know, Quaver, this was much easier with the other kids there to help you with the sound effect. Yes, I, I agree. Uh, six hands are better than the two. Or in my case, none. I know, Vivaldi, but I want to add some more sound effects to my video, and I won't always have the guys around. This one-man percussive unit suit that I've got will help me get it done. Right, all I need to do now is get into the lab and open the door. Uh, watch your step, mon ami. Uh, careful! Uh, careful is that you don't... Uh, ah! Oh. Ah. Ah. Trip! Monsieur Quaver! Are you all right? I'm fine. Just skip to beat. Or step. What sound effects, huh? It sounded just like a music expert falling down the stairs. <laughs> oh. All right, so I said that a um, percussion instrument can be made of almost anything. So I would like for you to go find a piece of paper. Doesn't matter what color it is or what kind of paper, just a piece of paper. And I want you to be back in your seat by the time I'm going to put a timer up. By the time the timer's done, be back in your seat. Ready? Go. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, so before we uh, do something with our piece of paper, I want you to use the call and response method and clap what I clap. Repeat after me. Okay, here we go. Good, let's do it one more time. Great. All right, now take a piece of paper, hold one corner in each hand, all right? And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do call and response, okay? I go first, you go after me. Here we go. Yeah, it's the same rhythm, right? I'm just doing, making the sound with paper. Let's do it one more time, here we go. Okay. Now, make sure this piece of paper is not important to somebody in your house because we're really going to mess it up. All right, here we go. Let's do this one. Okay. Same rhythm. I go first. You go after me. <laughs> okay, that was fun. All right, 
same rhythm. I go first. You uh, echo what I do. Here we go. Okay. Percussion instruments, uh, you know, they add a lot of texture. Like if you feel your shirt, right, whatever that feels like, we call that texture. There's a lot of texture in materials. If you reach down and feel whatever it is you're sitting on, a chair, a couch, or the floor, or whatever, that feels different than your shirt. That's because it has different texture. It's made of different things. And... Um, the way we change texture is we add layers of other materials. Same thing in music, okay? If we want something to sound uh, very thick and rich, then we're going to add a whole bunch of instruments in there. If we want it to sound light and airy, then we have very few instruments. Um, and the, uh, the tone color of percussion instruments or timbre say that with me timbre um, the timbre or tone color of percussion instruments adds to the texture like maybe a big bass drum hit boom right or uh, a bright cymbal crash, crash or a little triangle ting 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 and all those things add texture uh, because they have different timbres uh, and our little paper exercise there, um, you know, we could record that and we could put it in something and it would sound, we could make it sound like it belonged. It would, it would increase uh, the, the, the texture of whatever music that we were um, listening to. Hey guys, what is up? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make some percussion, in bleh, bleh, percussion instruments of your own. So today it is me and my little puppy, little D. Say hi, little D. Well, her real name is Delilah, but I call her little D. She's so cute. Alright, little D, I'm going to put you down now. Alright, so... Um, if you don't know what a percussion instrument is, I mean, you probably do, but I'm just going to explain it for you. A percussion instrument is the type of instrument that you can hit or make a sound with, like when you hit it, it makes sound. So I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make percussion instruments from home. Alright, let's do it. Um... So, if, I, I'm going to start with three wine glasses. So, I got one wine glass. I only have two room for two wine glasses. So, you're probably wondering what I'm going to do with these two wine glasses. You guessed it. Spoons. Alright. So, basically, I just do this. So, like, if you guys don't know... When I do this, I hit the wine glass with a spoon, it vibrates like that, and then it just, like, it vibrates, and it makes a sound. So, that, this is the, the your two wine glasses, you can just, like, do this. That's pretty cool. So, put these all to the side here. And next, I think we'll try a brush. Now, you're probably wondering what I'm going to do with a brush. 
I mean, it's kind of weird that I got that I got a brush. But see these see these things right here? Wait. It makes a sound. Yup. Makes a sound. That's the, that's the brush, and then we got a can of dog food here for a little D. You guessed it, spoon. Does that. And then here we got this fall decoration. Um, I thought I could just use it as a drum like this. So, have you guys ever heard of those, like, little crystals that you put, like, you just sprinkle into the washing machine? Well, I put those little crystals into a water bottle and basically just made a percussion instrument with it. Alright. That's cool, too. When I have, like, one drop of water left in my water bottle or my drink, what I do is I shake that tiny drop of water. And it just shakes around in my water bottle. So here's that tiny drop of water. It doesn't look like a tiny drop of water, but I try my best. Hear it? That, that's it. That's what I like to do. And I think this is the last one, guys. It's been six minutes into this video, and we are on the last one. All right. So we have a shake container that we sometimes use for shakes. And we have Reese's Puffs. Oh, let me see. Reese's Puffs. So what I am going to do... Waters and that. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I, I'm gonna put the Reese's Puffs into the shake container and it's gonna make some noise. So I'll just do that. I'll probably eat them later, but yeah. Just a little. Ooh, one fell. Delicious. <laughs> Delicious, yeah. Alright, so, no. Oh. All right, let's close it up. And wait, wait why isn't it closing? This is, yeah, it's the top. All right. And Maraca! Kind of, it's kind of Maraca. It's a Reese's Puffs Maraca. All right, all right, all right. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, and Well, this brings us to the assignment portion of the percussion lesson. And I thought I'd give you a little change of scenery here. <laughs> I am uh, up north visiting some family, so uh, I thought I'd uh, share some of the cold weather. Uh, and so that you know that I'm just not sitting in a studio someplace making lessons. I'm an actual real person. But anyway, you will not have a quiz this week. You will have to submit an assignment. And it needs to be a video assignment. You can use anything that you want to record your video. I'm using my iPhone right now. And just load it up. Follow the directions. Uh, I'm sure most of you know how to, to do that by now. And <clears throat> you're going to create two instruments and the instructions are gonna be on the next screen. And you're going to play this rhythm. All right, now I hope by now that you know what that rhythm is. That's the rhythm that I want you to play on your DIY percussion instrument, all right? So, enjoy yourself, make those instruments, get that video uploaded, uh, and that is your assignment for the week, and you have completed everything that you need to do. So stay tuned for the slide that's coming up with all the instructions on it. All right, I'm cold now. I'm going to get back in the car. Bye.
you are going to turn in an assignment and it should be a video assignment of you making two DIY instruments. And DIY, of course, means do it yourself, kind of like the young man in the video just showed us earlier. And the rhythm that I want you to play on your instrument is printed here. And you may know it by counting one, two, three, and four. One, three, or you may know it as ta, ta, ti, ti, ta, ta, ta. But anyway, I want you to play that on both of the instruments. Record yourself, upload it, hit the submit button on the DIY instrument assignment page uh, over in modules for this week, and you're gonna be good to go. All right, let me know if you have any questions. All right, guys, that's it for uh, this week's percussion family lesson. We're gonna do more percussion family next week. And you're going to do your homework and you're going to make uh, your own percussion instrument. And you're going to bring it to class with you and we're going to play them. And it's going to be fun. And then we're going to talk about some more percussion stuff next week too. So uh, don't forget to wait for the credits. Uh, I'll be with you after the credits and we're going to do something. All right, hope you had fun with percussion this week.